where am I going with this? I'm just like talking, not even making any sense. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my March Boxy Charm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box. I've tried out the goodies inside and have some thoughts for y'all. So just gonna run through the different products and give you some little mini reviews. So let's get to it. The card this month is so adorable. It says creepy, cute, really pretty colors. So I guess that that is the theme this month. So let's just jump into what I got in my box. First off, I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil Free. This is a retail price of $16. It says this primer is the first product that was ever created at Smash, Smashbox, mm -hmm. Photo Studios, Smashbox Photo Studios, LA. It instantly blurs fine lines and pores, leaving skin with a velvety smooth, even finish. This classic Smashbox primer is the best way to start your makeup every day. So I've used this primer before, so I didn't open this one up. I didn't want to, you know, waste it. I do like this primer. It's just not my favorite. It's not like a go-to for me. Um, and I've gotten it in gratis several times from Sephora. So I'm going to pass this on to a friend um, because it is a good primer. I do feel like it blurs um, the pores and helps your makeup stay on longer. I just like more... I was gonna say I like more targeted primers like either oil control or pore minimizing or something like that. Um, this does kind of do it all, but as far as like a do it all primer, I like the Hourglass one more than this one. But I know a lot of people do really like this primer. Now let's talk about a product in the box that I really am not a fan of. This is the Real Her Lady Love Matte Liquid Lipstick and I got the shade I Deserve the Best. So there is the outside box. The actual like product itself, the packaging is really pretty. Like I love the packaging. I do love this color. This is so beautiful, but the formula was not working for me. Okay, so let's read about it. It's a retail price of $15 and it says, lightweight formula glides onto lips, leaving super intense color with a bold ultra matte finish. Long wearing and completely kiss proof, this balm formula helps to combat dryness and nourish your lips during wear says boxy tip after application while still wet resist the urge to press lips together like conventional lipsticks this will allow for long lasting look avoid oily foods so i tried this a couple different times because i really wanted it to work because i love this shade like it's just a beautiful rosy color so love the color of it but man oh man the formula ooh, just didn't work for me let me get this swatch to show you I have to get it just, oh man, I messed it up. I'm trying to get it all even there. Nice, even swatch. Okay, so gorgeous rosy shade. Um, what I couldn't get past with this one is the stickiness of it. I did let it dry, but even after it dried, when, I'm not wearing this today. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm not obviously wearing it. I'm wearing something else from my Ipsy bag. But when I wore it, even when I was just talking, after letting it dry, when I was talking, I could tell the inner part of my lips were sticking together. So it has that stickiness, which drives me bananas in a liquid lipstick. So I noticed that just when I was talking, not trying to press my lips together. But then when I actually pressed my lips together, they just pressed together and they didn't move. Like sometimes they'll press together and then like open back up. No, they like just stuck together. I actually had a little mini panic moment thinking, oh my gosh, my lips are like literally stuck together because it felt like glue. So I had to lick my lick my lips to get them to separate. So this was like intensely sticky on me. So I tried blotting it, doing a really thin coat. It still felt sticky to me. So if you have an application tip to make this work, I would love to know it because I do love this color, but I cannot get past the stickiness. Um, I really can't even speak to like if it felt dry or not because I just noticed the stickiness more than anything and then didn't want to keep it on my lips past like, well, I tried wiping it off and it really didn't come off. So I guess it's long wearing. So I sort of kept some of it on for several hours. Um, and I guess it felt okay, but just that stickiness, I can't get past it. It is so bad. Now I did have to really scrub to get that off my hand. You can see there. I mean, I was scrubbing at it. So if you can figure out the stickiness thing, it does seem to be long wearing. But something I did really like that I got from Real Her in my box is this lip liner. It is a retail price of $12.50. What shade did I get? I got the shade I Am Loved. So here's the outside box and here is the actual packaging. Again, really pretty, nice packaging. Retail price of $12.50. 
says a creamy lip liner that glides across lips to define your pout. Boxy tip, exfoliate and hydrate lips prior to use for best application. Outline lips with liner before applying favorite lipstick for a locked in look. So this is really, really pretty. It's very nice and creamy. I did wear this yesterday um, and it's really pretty. It's a great lip liner. So I love this lip liner. It feels very nice and creamy, comfortable. Um, it's that kind of formula that you could either like use it as a lip liner or fill in your lips, I think, because it has that creaminess to it. So I think it would work as a all over lip color and also as a liner. So there is that. So that's definitely a win in this box. So I think this is really nice. So I would go with the lip liner over their liquid lipstick. Next, I got a fan brush from Crown Brush. So this is the SS023 Deluxe Fan Brush and it's a retail price of $18.99 says this fan brush features a large fanned brush head, perfect for the soft application of powder products. This brush is also great for lightly dusting shimmer products onto skin. Boxy tip, gently dip brush across your favorite highlighter or powder and dust across your cheekbones for beautiful glowy effect. Brush can also be used to buff out powders and bronzers. So mine looks a little bit dirty today because I did use it today. I applied my highlighter with it. Um, I'm wearing the Essence, I think it's called Perfect Nude Highlighter or something like that. Um, so that's what I've got on my cheekbones today and I applied it with this and this is really nice. It's very soft. Um, as far, I don't use fan brushes a ton, but the ones that I've kept have been the bigger ones like this that are like, that have some density to them just because I feel like I can get like more precision with them versus the really tiny flimsy ones. Like I just feel like I get a big strip of color versus this one really does diffuse the product. So I do really like this brush. I think it's really nice quality um, and it's pretty to look at. Like it's just a pretty fun brush. And lastly, my favorite thing in the box is a palette. This is by Naked Cosmetics and this is the Urban Rustic Palette and it's a retail price of $39.99. It says these colors offer a dramatic look when applied damp or with an eye base. The colors have hints of green, bronze, purple, and brown says apply shadow to your lids to give your eyes a beautifully pigmented shimmer. For more pigment, lightly wet your brush for an even more intense, and then it doesn't say anything else. That's so funny, for an even more intense look, I'm guessing they meant to say. Okay, so I do have this on um, my uh, lids today. I do have something else on my lower lash line. I have something from the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette but the green on my eyelids is from this. It's really, really pretty. Like these are very um, buttery feeling. Well, I wouldn't describe them as buttery. They have that like, um, oh, I don't even know. They feel like the Juvia's Place, um, like shimmery metallic shades that like just real intense, high pigment sort of a feeling. If, you, if you're an eyeshadow person, you probably know what I'm talking about. Just that like super intense, um, almost like a thick feeling shadow, but that sounds like weird, like it's a weird texture, but it just has a lot of color payoff is really what, you know, ends up happening with it being that type of a formula. Where am I going with this? I'm just like talking, not even making any sense. These are nice eyeshadows. I really do like them. I mean, that's applied dry, so wet, they're even more intense, just really pretty. I would have loved if there were maybe like a blending shade in there or something. It's just sort of like a little bit random, but I don't mind that because it's, you know, very creative and fun. Um, you're just going to have to, you know, bring in some other things to really probably do like, you know, a full eye look. I mean, you could just do your bronzer and your crease and then one of these colors on your lid and have just an all over sort of an eye look. So you could definitely do that. But if you want to do like, you know, a more involved eye look, you're gonna have to bring in some other colors, but these are really, really nice. I think they're beautiful. I would probably not pay $40 for this palette, um, but to get it in the box is really awesome. So this is my favorite thing in the box. Okay guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value and it is 102.48. So another great value. I would say my overall favorites, definitely the palette, 
I really like the brush. I like the lip liner. This, not so much, but I'd love to know your application tips. If you have some tips and tricks you've figured out with it, let me know that down below. Hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you got in your BoxyCharm box this month. Let me know what your favorite thing was that you got. If you don't sign up for BoxyCharm but you want to, I'll leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.